Good morning. I'm gonna start tackling the pointing that has been done here because when they did the pointing here they did it very very rough and they did it over the stones so when I remove it there is a residue left. You can just peel it off with your hand so it's the wrong product and the way it has been applied is uh, yeah I have no words for it. Let's put it that way. It's all cracking. Moisture is getting through so I don't know why they did it. To give me some work. Luckily the stone is pretty hard so I'm not really damaging it by doing it this way. The only problem we'll have is getting rid of the residue that's on it. I'm gonna try with a wire brush. If that works, okay. If that doesn't work, I think we'll need to use a product because it's like when you do some tiling and you leave the residue on the tiles, it's the same thing. It gets in there and it's uh, pretty rough to get out. This one, I have to be careful. Most of them are pretty rock solid, but the face came off. The thing is sometimes I can't see because the person who did this, he wasn't just pointing, he liked to make lines across the stones. So sometimes I'm like, okay, this is a groove, but it isn't a groove, it's just where he made a line. That's not how you do it, by the way. You follow the stones and you don't start creating your own patterns. Unless you're an artist or something. But like this one, he just did the face of the stone, no idea why. Okay, uh, that's it for today. It's a pretty good part I did. The thing that will take most of the time is cleaning the stones. But getting the pointing out will be fine, will not be that hard. Before I finish, I'm gonna try something with my grinder. I'm gonna see if it works on the stones without damaging them and getting the, the white residue and small parts off. If that works, it's gonna be amazing. Okay. I have to test it out further, but it seems to be working. I don't think I'm damaging the surface of the stones. Okay, good morning. Day two. I'm gonna continue cleaning with the wire brush and then I'm gonna try with a pressure washer to clean uh, this part and I'll see what uh, effect we get. 
It's gonna take a lot of time, but uh, we have a saying, Rome isn't built in a day, so we'll do it step by step. guys I'm preparing my version of a goat cheese salad with golden baked apples a little bit of bacon tomatoes and a mustard honey vinaigrette the prep work is done so all I need to do is assemble a salad Bon appétit All right, good morning. As you can see, it's going pretty well to get rid of the the pointing. I'm trying my best not to damage too many. Well, it's here and there a little nick, but it's old stone, so you won't notice it. The only thing is there's still a little bit of the white residue that stays behind. So I'm wondering, I've been looking on the internet, but maybe you guys know before I do it, is uh, to get rid of it, they say to use a muriatic acid or something. But I want to be sure. I don't know if you can use it on these stones because I don't want to damage them with the acid. So if you guys know, let me know before I do it. There's still plenty of time because I have to <laughs> first get rid of all the rest before I do that. So, But if you know, let me know in the comments.
Good morning, day four. I'm gonna try to finish this side of the barn. Then the only parts that need to be done is the side here where the caravan is, but I'm gonna wait with that because I don't want to damage the caravan. And then we have the other side is where the hill is close to the barn. That part I'm gonna see if I can clean the, the trench a little bit and if I can put my uh, ladder in there, then I'll do it as well. All the rest of the buildings, luckily the guy that did this, <laughs> or the woman, I don't know, didn't touch the rest, so... The closer you get to the ground, the more moisture. Here the stones are really wet, so that's the problem we're having, like we told you. There's a lot of water coming from uphill behind the barn and making its way through. So the way we will solve it is dig away at the back, put a fringe drain to get most of the water away. And also they put a, a concrete slab inside, which isn't very ideal as well, especially since it's just against the walls. And these walls on the inside are also done with some cement. There's no way for the wall to breathe. So it's constantly wet, which isn't good. So hopefully we can solve it in the future. But we're almost done. <laughs> I'm gonna show you up there, the Grand Master himself. Show uh, what I'm up against and what I need to clean. Because I'm always filming from a distance, but up there, uh, it's amazing. I will show you. So here you can see how all the stones are just... Uh, it's a different style of pointing, it's, a, it's an artist. So this is what I have to remove and this is what I'm grinding off, but the white here, this is what I will have to do with some kind of acid, I think, to get it fully off, to clean them. Up here it's also a lot harder to, uh, to get it off, because there is not a lot of water in grass or stuff that has been deteriorating the pointing. But yeah, now you have a ID what kind of workmanship went into this. But I promise you, it's gonna be beautiful once I'm finished with it. Okay, let's start uh, putting up the scaffolding. 
so I can work on the old barn. Chiseling out the joints with the ladder was easy. Didn't need the scaffolding, but uh, I have a lot of cleaning to do on the stones itself. And that will be easier if I have the scaffolding. Because uh, it's a lot of work. And afterwards for the pointing as well, it's going to be easier with the scaffolding on. I don't know if I'll be able to do it this winter or autumn anymore because we already had some frost, but we'll see. If I can just clean it up and it's ready to get pointed, then uh, I can do it when spring arrives. Uh, and I still have the other two sides to do, the back of the barn and the other side where the caravan is. So I can clean those as well in the meanwhile. All right, get started. Okay, seems about right to me. This is the right size to move it for me with the wheels under it. But this I can do part by part. I don't need to be able to run from side to side with the pointing as well. You have to take your time, do small parts. I've been looking on YouTube how to lime point. And you need to take your time. Fill everything really good, then it needs time to cure. You might need to cover it, etc, etc. So there's no point in putting up a whole scaffolding for no reason. morning guys I'm gonna work on the wall again to clean it up I'll show you the wire brush that I use on my grinder I bought a new one it's a bronze one I use this because it's softer than the metal ones the metal ones you use to clean off rust from metal and everything but this one is softer and should do less damage on the face of the stones but uh, you get through them this is the old one <laughs> So, let's get started. Oh, and if you do something like this, wear goggles. Because after I'm done, those bristles, they get dislodged and uh, I can see it in my vest. It's full of them. So if you get one of those in your eyes, it's not gonna be your best day. Here we are on the scaffolding just beneath the roof ledge. We're gonna start breaking out the joints a bit more. So when we put in the new new jointing compound or the lime, it has some more uh, bite to it. Because if I just smear it over this, it's not gonna grab anything. So we're gonna try to put it a little bit deeper and then with the grinder, grind them clean and then uh, Probably with some kind of acid, uh, clean the stones one by one, I guess, to get it uh, looking good. Let's get started.
Okay, just a little comparison. This is uh, another site where the caravan is. Just uh, have a look how it is here. There we go. This is the part that's been cleaned off. I still have to do a little part next to the big gate and a part above it. And then we have the part where I'll show you. Hold on. Hoppa! Yeah, that's the part where I will not be cleaning until we solve the roof because sometimes some stones come down. So if one of those hits my head, it's game over. Then somebody else can do the work here. So, but I'm pretty happy with the, the result. It's not totally finished, like I said. Still have to do it with the asset and clean them one by one. Well, hopefully the asset works. But uh, it's a lot of improvement. It's maybe a strange thing to say, but the barn has more of a calm feeling now than the other wall, which is just splattered on. <laughs> Okay, the last part, above uh, the barn door and then we're finished with raking out the joints and uh, grinding off the residue. <laughs> Right, finished. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the result. It's a lot of it's a lot of work. It would be better if it hadn't been done this way, but it is what it is. All right, end of the video. It was a good week. A lot of work, as you have seen in the video. I hope it didn't bore you guys too much. The next few videos might be a lot more working because the barn is a big barn. And there's only so much I can do with these two hands. But I do hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something from it. I hope if you liked it that you subscribe. And see you next week where I'll be working inside the barn. It will be a change of pace. So yeah, see you next week.